Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in Elm Creek. Ah, it's got to be right out there. I trying to see which where it had to go, I was getting quite confused with that. But yeah, you, so you've actually got it, you, your fill trigger is actually a bit further out. I thought it was in closer, but it's not. So anyway, we've now got that one filling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one out to the other fields and we will start this one planting. And then as soon as we've got this one going, we'll come back and we'll get our big tractor there and get the cultivator onto it. So let me just put the tank lids back on. We'll get the cultivator onto that tractor that we got right there. So I'm just going to bring this one in around this way. A bit of mad driving here. Just ignore that. And we'll get the other tractor with the cultivator and cultivate up that field and then we can swap them over and that one can then also do the planting. It's a shame that we don't have a big direct drill. I would pref I would have preferred that to have been a direct drill, but I mean, we, we can sort of work with what we've got here, can't we? So this one... Right, what is going on with this? Okay, so this is transport pos ah transport position is this those wheels move out like that and then they switch over to the rear of the machine like that and then these wheels come out there and then they start doing that now in theory you would be reversing back as you did this to try and help it out a bit okay that's really cool I like that I love the sounds as well uh, it does, it sounds really cool. I forgot to do that little tiny bit up there. Never mind. So let's get started on planting our corn. We're going to put corn through all of this. It's a bit difficult to see the seed bed when you're using a big, uh, not a, when you're using a big machine like this. When you're using that type of seed bed, it's a bit difficult to see it. Um, With the cultivator that we use if we use a deeper cultivator we'd actually be able to see the seed bed a lot more easily but unfortunately we can't did that just is this a direct drill did i not wait a minute wait a minute we'll be with you in a minute folks uh we drive we drive no didn't say that it's a direct drill, but it seemed to direct drill that little bit that was left just over there. I don't know. Genuinely not sure about that. Let's run on down here. I, I mean, we brought we, we brought we bought the right cedar here. I think we've got a really good width on this one and that means that we're going to get through this land nice and quickly, which is what we want. We don't want to be hanging around. We don't want to be taking absolutely ages to do any of this. We want to get this done quickly, efficiently, and then move on to the next task. So, let's bring you on around over here. It's definitely going to be better with this as a single field. We'll be doing that after this harvest. We'll turn all of this into one great big field, I think. And then we can sort of carry on with that. Uh, let me go there. And then we can turn around. So, yeah, I was asking you last time, what do you want to see from this series? Is there anything in particular that you all want me to be doing? Is there things that you think would be really cool to see in this series? Uh, do you want me to stay on this map for any particular length of time? Do you want me to be chopping and changing between a lot of maps really quickly? Um, if I'm going to be doing that, this one would be the one to do it with. The Hardcore series doesn't really lend itself very well to that. This one, I can be jumping a map every 10, 15 episodes, if that's what you'd like. And honestly, I really don't mind. Like, I, I, I'm sort of quite open to suggestions with this, because there's, there's no hard and fast way that I'm doing anything. I haven't got any particular goals or anything set in mind as to exactly how I want to do it. But I already mentioned, I've already talked about this previously, so I'll leave that go now and then I'll wait until I get your feedback responses 
So it'll be a few weeks before you hear me talk about it. But yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of the idea. I'm, I, I was wondering, because I did this like in FS17. And he says that he's not going to talk about it. And then he immediately starts to talk about it again. Um, I did it in FS17 where I did a few weeks on... I did like four weeks on a map. And then I put up to a vote whether, we, you know, which map we went on to for a, another one. I might try doing something similar. Although that would be one of the questions that I'd be, I'd be asking people on our Discord rather than on here. Because uh, that's, that's kind of what I started doing was asking questions on Discord. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to run down to the end of this big field here. And I'm going to drive one pass along the bottom end of the field up closest to the railway there. So there's no danger of any mishaps. And then I'm going to start the hired help doing all the rest of the work. And as the hired help buys fertilizer and seeds straight away there's no danger of us running out Let's swing you in round there like that and i remember trying to use these articulated machines without keyboard assistance without keyboard without a steering wheel doing it with just a keyboard it's a horrible experience having to do it like that i really really hate it i do not like driving articulated machines with a keyboard especially the articulated loaders because when you take your finger you like to do it they're, they're really really jerky so if you pick up a bale and then you've got to move it slightly it basically just shakes the bale or the pallet off the machine completely and yeah it just just makes you want to curl up into the fetal position and weep so I'm very, very glad. I'm, I'm always quite grateful that I'm able to have a steering wheel for some of these things, especially this, because it's actually surprisingly easy to reverse with an articulated machine. But I have the advantage of sort of having an aerial view, so I can kind of see where things are and what the, what's going on. I don't know how well these work in real life. I imagine if you're doing too much of this on the spot, it's not going to do the tracks a lot of good. So I, I don't really know. So anybody that drives an articulated machine or has driven one, what are they like for reversing, for maneuvering and so on backwards and uh, turning on the spot and things like that? What's, what's it like operating one of these machines in real life? Get in the comments section and tell us all about it. I'd be very interested to find out. I'm sure I've asked this before, but I've completely forgotten about it. I really don't... I've never, ever been able to drive a tractor like this, especially one with tracks. Um, like, I've driven articulated machines like dumpers, the so smaller ones with wheels, but I've never driven anything with tracks on it. So, um, at least not that sort with tracks on it. I've driven other machines with tracks on it, but th th those are different. Um, so yeah, like it, it, there's a whole range of experiences there that I've never had and I'd be interested to hear what other people have to say about them. Now our pig pen is ready to go. I was thinking about maybe having two pig pens, but we won't at the moment. We haven't got room for it at the moment because I've gone and put down that honey warehouse that we're trying out. I'm still, I, 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 I will admit, I am a little bit embarrassed that I forgot that bees don't really produce anything in the winter. It's me thinking that I got a mod that has gone and broken my honey production, and no, no, it's, it's, there's no mod that has broken the honey production. It's winter, Frith, and the bees are comfortably ensconced inside their beehives, not producing honey. Yeah, yeah, it, it, that's that's what they do in in winter. Yeah, this it, it's that they spend. That's why they spend all summer gathering honey, so that they've got something to eat during the winter. Goodness me. It's, it, it is, it is a bit embarrassing that I forgot all about that. But never mind, never mind. What's done is done. So let's just quickly pop that one down there. We want to do a pass along this end down here. And then we want to... Actually, we will do a pass down the side of the field. Because if we don't, when we come to the final pass of the field, we could end up overlapping and digging up a whole load of crop in the other field. So we're going to have to be a bit careful about this one better if we can do all of the cultivating all at once really isn't it so we can do that and then swing that one around like that and tangle up with the um anchor uh, the anchor lines for the electricity pole right there and possibly cause ourselves all kinds of problems 
just going to press H on there and let the hired help run a nice straight line down the side of the field. And while he does that, let's actually if I go yeah, to it right next to each other. See? Really quick. He's only done two passes on the field. It's the third pass on the field, sorry. And he's almost finished already. This is brilliant. What an absolutely fantastic machine. So this, this field here I definitely think is going to be fine as a really, really big field. That, that track that runs along the top edge of the field, we keep that one as it is. This track that runs between the two right there, that one will be ploughed up. That one we can get rid of. I think that will be absolutely fine. Now you coming down this way. We will get you to... I think there is absolutely fine. And then we can turn round and just do this end of the field. And then it's not going to take very long for this one to finish either. And while we're waiting for that, I'm thinking that maybe we should get ourselves a fast food restaurant. Because that one over there is slightly ridiculous. You know, we've, we've got this big lorry now that can do the deliveries. And um, whilst that is great and all, we've, we've got this, this beautiful big trailer. We can pick up loads and loads of pallets all at once. The problem that we've got with it is that we can't really deliver things properly. At least not to that fast food restaurant. So I'm thinking that we need to find one of the sale points that we can have for ourselves. We want to put it here somewhere. Actually, I'm thinking also because we have a large trailer and we can now get a huge number of pallets on it all at once... I'm thinking that maybe our sale point shouldn't be quite so close. We don't want it right next door. We want to actually have to do a little bit of work to get the sale point. Because it feels like we're actually making a proper delivery. So while this one is running up through here, let's take a look at the map and see what kind of... Actually, no, before we do that, we want to have a look in here. We want to go to you, construction, and it's production selling points this is the one that we're after so we go up to here so we've got farmer's market the farmer's market we can sell honey we can sell everything at the farmer's market the pizzeria we can sell the crops the greenhouse stuff but we can't sell the honey the restaurant we can sell all three of them the supermarket Surely we can sell all three of them in the supermarket. Honey, yes, and we can sell all three in the supermarket. So we, we've got we got a selection here. We can, we can go and pick some of these. Right, that's absolutely fine. So we've got three sale points there that we can use. we just got to find somewhere to put them. So let's go to farmland here. This is the bits that are for sales. We've got chunks of it for sale here, and they're actually quite big chunks. I was kind of expecting these to be smaller areas of land. So we've got this land. We could have it down here. So it's not all that far that we would have to drive. We would probably come out, down, and then go along that road, and then down in here to sell. That might be a good way to do it. Sort of just off the side into there. Field 72, which would give us this bit over here. I kind of like the idea of having the sell point just there, although it's the wrong side of the tracks, really, isn't it? Maybe 56, and we go up and we build something opposite the dealership. We've got strips of land up this way. There's some really close to us across the road. I don't really like that idea. This, this right here, this is, this is um, houses in here, isn't it? Map overview. What's that? That's a dairy and a cereal factory. Let's visit. And then... Construction. What have we got here? This is an industrial ground. This is an industrial park. There's a few houses here. But this is, for the most part... Oh, the industrial park, but it's also the ballpark as well. So there are a few houses, and you'd get custom from people coming here. The ballpark uh, for this... Um, the, what's it called? The diamond thing. Um, baseball. The base baseball thing here, isn't it? Um... So we would have some customers coming in from there. That's actually a, probably a good place to put it. So let's go back into there. So there's that one right there. Or oh, we've got like there's the well there's the farmers market up there already. I don't really fancy going to those all the way up there. They're a little bit far away. But this one I think is all right with the lorry. It drives reasonably quickly. We go out and we've got that road that comes in over to here and it gets to this point right here. So we want farmland. We neither have. 35 or the 37, 36 one. 
35 is actually within our price range. We have got the money for that. I think that's the one that we'll buy. There, we'll buy that one right there. Yes. And now I've run out of money, so I'm going to have to borrow some more. Let's go and see how our machine's doing a minute. You have finished, so let's deal with you first. And what I'm going to do to deal with you... Have you noticed, if you look all the way up there, it looks like it's planting or plowing something from where the seed drill has been out over the edges. It's going to be interesting to see if anything has actually been planted there, or is just doing some sort of weird texture thing. I don't think anything should have been planted there. I think it's just a weird texture thing. Because in theory, that's not it's not even field, so there shouldn't be anything planted there. I think that is purely a texture thing from this seed drill. With some of the seed drills and, and so on, they, they do do funny things, don't they? So we'll pick that one up there. That's one field now done. And next, what I'm going to do is I'll go over to the far side of this other one so there's no chance of us getting hung up on a tree or it doing something weird for the, the final bit. Bring you in here. We've got to roll these fields as well. That's something. I want to get the big roller. I want to test that one. See what it's like. Put you in there. Okay, you're doing fine. You were turning around there and you're just about to finish this field. So we'll let this one finish and then we will put the seed drill on so that we can start planting beans in this field. While that one is running up there, I still have some more loan available. Someone was asking how I'm able to get such a big loan. It's on the mod hub. There is a mod right in there that will allow you to borrow up to 10 million dollars the only thing that i don't like about it is that you don't have a continuous uh, button push to do it i can't just press and hold the space bar or click with the mouse in order to do this i've got to just keep clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking until my finger falls off so there is that is, is a bit of a downside and when i say a bit of a downside i mean it's a huge downside and i don't like it that would be good rather than having to do this in 5,000 increments to be able to do it all in one go. But that, that's not really an option. Is that? That's not going to turn around, surely. He is. Finish, 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 finish. Come on. Oops. Repay. There. Right. No, I don't want you to go. This is why you've got to keep an eye on the AI. He was about to go and start um, cultivating up that next field. Okay. I'll fold this one up, and then I will wash my machinery as well. Love doing that. If I mentioned that I like doing that, I don't know if I have. Keep that kind of thing quite quiet. Play it close to my chest. And we'll unhitch you right there. I'm not going to bother going and putting you away right now, because I want to keep going with this planting. And so I've now got a spare million, which means that I've got enough to go and buy the placeable and we can build a little bit of a road around there and be able to use it to do everything that we want to do so let's bring you out this way soybeans i'm actually going to just try this with the hired help starting on this side and then let it go i'm not going to do anything to it i'm just going to put the hired help going over this way and leave it go, and then we'll do the tidy up afterwards rather than before, and we'll see how it gets on. It might do most of the field. I doubt it. I expect it's still going to leave a big chunk down the ends. But there's the soybeans going into the ground. So while you do that, let me go to construction. And I need to whiz off over this way. So we want to follow that track along, actually. There's the track. There's the bit that we got, and it's field 35. This is the land that we now own. The road is out there. There's another road that comes along this way, and then it comes in around underneath the main road over there. That one there. So that's the, the highway that goes through. Okay, I wasn't actually expecting that, but whatever. Uh, whatever you need to do, I suppose. Uh, yeah, that's the highway that runs right through the map. All the way up through there. I just quite like the way that they've integrated that into everything. Yeah, gotta do this again. Right. 
Run back over here towards field 35. Okay, so we have got, there's the, the, the highway is up there. We've got the slip road over here. So you wouldn't go past that point there. That's where you go out onto the slip road. It goes up that way. I'm thinking this way, but no, this is this is uh, in the US. So you're all back front over there, aren't you? Uh, so you actually drive out that way and you, you come off this one. Yeah, see like that. But anyway, so we want to put our sail point here. So it's close to these because that one there carries on and that's that's just another road that goes on out we've also got a farm over there but that's nothing to do with us um and it's convenient as well for deliveries because we're close to this main road so we, we may be able to make use of that i suppose i, I don't really know so what selling point are we can have we've got a farmer's market we've got a pizzeria so pizzeria isn't an option at uh, the restaurant or we have a supermarket i think we're going to go with a supermarket now where is the actual cell so there's the cell point on the back but i mean really you'd want that one at the back wouldn't you so you'd want to sort of put that one there like that so there's the supermarket we've got that bit in place so next up we need to, yes i know you don't like it i know that there are people that get fed up with this but we, this is something that we've got to do we, we have no choice we have to do this now uh we've got to put in a road We've got asphalt there, and we've got dirt, gravel, and this is what I really don't... I'm, I'm waiting for a mod that will basically just give us, like, every type of texture. Because there's so many missing textures from this map. It really irritates me that we've got all these missing... Why are there, why is the textures missing? Why do there need to be any textures missing? Seriously, what, what possible reason do we have that textures should be missing from one map when they're not missing from another one? Like, that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. That is, that is, it, it just, it just does not compute. So I'm just going to move that over there like that. Right, so what we're going to want is a road. Is We're going to have to have the road is, is going to come up to here like this. There, and it's going to come around like that. I've got a sign right there, so I want to be a bit careful of that road sign there. I'll, I'll do this. And then... That's going to come up. Kind of like that. So that's the, the deliveries in. Come up here. That sign can stay there. And then we've got like a, a nice big pull-in area here. To work with. There. And... Kind of comes in around there like that, doesn't it? There. That should be enough room to swing our lorry in round to, to sort of drive in round. We do have that one sign there, which is a little bit annoying, but I'm sure that will be fine. And then this side over here, we want to do this a little bit differently. So what we're going to want here is just widen that one out this here is going to basically all be turned into concrete because we need a car park out the front of this one so we've got to do it like that there's there, there's going to be a car park out the front of the store here isn't there so we're going to do this and that's going to come out there now let's wind that one down a bit down to there. And then do a little bit of a path along the side of the store. And now I want to bring that one out again. And we've got to go up here like this. So that's going to go up that way. There. Make that smaller. Again, we want to just kind of like smooth that in a bit. And a path up beside the store right there. So we've got a little bit of greenery in here. Plants. Plants. 
There is a shrub. We've got a couple of those. A couple in there. Like that. Uh, a few of these. Yeah. Right. So we've now got like a little bit of greenery coming around. Uh, trees as well. We've got a couple of these. I don't want them too close to the road. Uh, I'm going to ignore this field for the most part. I don't think we'll be doing very much with it. It's too far away. It's just going to be inconvenient. So I just wanted a couple of trees along here as well. Maybe just along the back. I don't want anything too big. Three of those. Uh, what else could we put in? We could put in a couple of... No, that's too small. There. A little line of those around there. Okay, so we're, we're doing okay so far. Uh, what have we got? That's a gate. I don't want a gate. Want those fences. Metal railing. Right. So then we go from this corner out over to here with a bit of metal railing. And there is a mod that lets you have gates and everything else completely for free. But I didn't actually think that we should be doing that. that like, even on this one, it still sort of feels a little bit cheaty. So I'm not going to be doing that. And then I do love the way that it snaps. It snaps right in, and then what you can also do is the gate snaps in as well, although I think you've got to remove a section to collides with another item. So I'd want to put it there, but it won't let me do that for a minute. So we'll go get rid of that one. How do I sell it? Right, no, I don't want that. How do you sell the f I need I need to sell the stuff. Oh, uh you right click. Select zoom camera. I thought oh demolish. <laughs> Ah, you got it. You got to click and drag to be able to demolish it. You got to click and drag. Okay, so that's that's easy enough. And then we get rid of the. So you don't need to get rid of the demolish bit. You just go and click on the fence that you want to use again, which is that gate right there. And so then I click, and then I. I see. Right. Demolish that one. Then I put the gate in. Like this. Get that roughly lined up where I want it. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.